Hello YouTube! Lyricize17 here, but you can just call me Travis, I'm already pointing. Uh, and welcome back to another collection update. Uh, before we get started, as you could maybe see, I finally decided to actually pick up the vest. Uh, looked at lots of pictures, so I've decided I eventually wanted to go with the uh, black denim. Uh, so now that I have another thing that I can sink all my money into, along with all the other patches that I already have that I need to get on here. But as you can see, I look uh, quite styling. All right, I uh, got a, quite a few things to uh, jump through here, so let's uh, just get to it. Uh, yeah, a little bit of each, actually one of the, yeah, one of each, at least of every format. All right, let's do it. Uh, in the background, obviously, I'm gonna turn this up because this can never really get too loud. I decided to go with, uh, yeah, you know what this is. Uh, decided to go with, let's listen to a little uh, Rundang, et cetera. Off philosophy by Burzum. All right. Uh, yeah, new release just came out just Friday. I uh, talked about it uh, last week. Uh, this is the new Visigoth uh, Conqueror's Oath. Look at that Mart. Uh, done by uh, Chris Verwimp. That's how you say his name. Love all. Always like his stuff. Uh, obviously, maybe not obviously, but uh, I big ceremonial castics fan and he did all their stuff and so obviously big fan uh another good one yeah but if you're not familiar with this band uh out of the united states i think call uh, no utah they're from utah actually uh heavy metal uh definitely has a power metal uh bent to it uh they have maybe lost a bit of uh a bit of that uh doominess there wasn't a whole lot of it with their last album the revenant king uh but I don't really hear a whole lot of that going on. Uh, they still kind of have those occasional like Amon Marth riffs, without, which is what I'll call those. Uh, this album's a little more maybe uh, streamlined is not the right word, but uh, maybe more so songy. Uh, de definitely in terms of the, the song lengths, they've cut them down. Not a whole lot. They're still all like four or five minutes, couple six minutes, but uh, you know, a few in the last one were seven, eight, nine minutes long, so they definitely, uh, I don't know, they cut out some stuff that maybe they thought was meandering or not. I don't know. I thought the other album was awesome, and actually this one is awesome too. Um, I can't quite decide which one I like better so far. Obviously, I've only listened to this one a handful of times, I don't know, maybe six or seven. But uh, I like uh, some of these songs are awesome. Steel, Steel and Silver, Warrior Queen, Hammer Forged, Traitor's Gate. Uh, yeah, if you like the first one, uh, this is another awesome, awesome follow up. Uh, not another awesome, not, not another follow up since there can only be one follow up, but an awesome follow up. Definitely check this album out. Uh, Conqueror's Oath, Visigoth. Uh, rad stuff. All right, another uh, new release that just came out. So the timing was perfect. Got this yesterday, but I've had the digital because it was Bandcamp for a few days. And that's uh, the new one. Ooh, almost dropped it. From Old Tower. This is Stellary Wisdom out on Profound Lore. It comes in a slipcase to reveal the cover, which this uh, I pulled out because this is a. This is a you know, one of those simple but awesome covers. Uh, if you're not familiar with this band, they are, they're Canadian? Yeah, I think they're Canadian. Or actually, maybe they're American. One of the two, I should, I should know that, but I don't. Uh, Dungeon Synth uh, definitely has, uh, you know, some, some occasional, uh, Dark ambient bleed over. Uh, definitely, uh, like I, I want, like I wanted to get to is I like the uh, the use of the black metal uh, imagery. I think it works well with this uh, particular artist. Uh, but again, yeah, this album cover is awesome. Or yeah, that's the album cover. Uh, inside, we've got some song titles and uh, credits and stuff. All sorcery conducted in total solitude at the lone enclave by the spectre. Artwork drawings and layout by the specter. This work is dedicated to the true spirits who still uphold the ancient flame of the dark arts. Yeah, really solid, dun uh, you know, Dungeon Synth. Uh, like I said, it kind of has that dark ambient bleed over, so there's kind of a 
a cool, like, ominous, evil vibe going on overall that I enjoy. It's the first time thinking of ever picked up by, and I'm so pumped up about that. And I'll read this to you just because, why not? Under the starry skies, the winds of the dark magic fell over the land. The shadowy veil of misery, the bringer of the end. As the spectral energies are flowing, life will release its final breath, and a new spirit is born from the death. I have come from forests and mountains beyond this mortal realm. I am all and I am nothing, a specter from the ancient past. From an ancient past. Forgive me. Within my somber castle halls I remain, for here lies all truth in ancient stellary wisdom. Behold the majesty of this shadowy realm, which I rightfully claimed as my eternal kingdom. As I gaze upon the world beneath me, I only see despair. For feeble humans there is nothing left, as their weakened screams feel the nightly air. Forgive my errors in reading. It's a CD. It's kind of cool looking. But yeah, anyway, if you're in Dungeon Synth, uh, definitely check out this band. They're pretty good. They're up there with some of the best. Really like this band a lot. Or band, I don't know. It's one guy, the Spectre. Uh, Searcher, searchers after horror haunt strange far places. That's what it says there. So yeah, as always, everything I show, uh, I will be leaving a link to, so definitely click this one for Old Tower. Stellary, Stellary Wisdom. Uh, these next uh, few are pretty cool. I'm excited to show these ones off. I'll actually show the most recent one first. Uh, discovered this group. Uh, every once in a while, I just go on to Bandcamp and just, you know, see what, what's come out recently. Uh, in you know various genres, and uh, this particular album art popped out to me, so I uh, said, "What's that?" and uh, listened to it, and uh, absolutely loved what I uh, found, and I uh, I ordered it immediately. It's a self-released uh, thing by uh, from the you know the lo the lone artist of the band. Um, CDR, which I w didn't really care about because I thought the music was awesome and I uh, wanted to support. Plus, it was very cheap, so what's the big deal? Uh, anyway, it comes with a cool insert, so uh, I'll show that off. This is uh, My Deathbed is the name of the artist, which obviously that's a, a great photo to, to show that. And then this is a self-titled release. Uh, limited to 66 copies. Mine's number four. One thing I did think was odd was uh, he didn't cut it to like size, so I don't know, whatever. Maybe it was on purpose, maybe it was an accident, not sure. Like I said, CDR. Here's mine, 466. Uh, this is really, really awesome stuff. Uh, came out uh, January of this year, so it's a 2018 release. Very possible could be on my list. Uh, very cool, like, as it describes itself on Bandcamp, monotonous black metal, very DSBME, uh, Burzummy, uh, just really, really cool stuff. I like it a lot. Uh, the first song, 24 minutes long, just like like a, a, a falling down a pit of despair for half an hour of just agony. Uh, just awesome stuff. Three more tracks on there of varying lengths, uh, but man, that opening track just gets me. Uh, Awesome stuff. If you're into DSBM at all, definitely check out this group. Uh, and then after that, uh, a few more of his releases popped up. I didn't even realize that he had any. Apparently he had re released three uh, in 2017, but finally he decided to kind of do the same thing, do limited release CDR copies of them. So they were again, they were all super cheap, and I didn't even listen to them. Just uh, wanted to support immediately because I loved uh, that other one. Uh, the self-titled My Deathbed so much that I thought, yep, gotta do it. So this is the first one. This one's... I'll pull, I'll pull it out so you can see it. This is Sickness. This is uh, 13 of 15. This one came out, I think he, this one was in July because I think it was July, August, and October is when he put these out. This one, the, all three of them uh, in general just are kind of a... 
you can see the kind of the ground, the groundwork that he's being uh, being put down to eventually get to the point of the self-titled My Deathbed release. Uh, and this one's only got a couple songs on it, and only one of them is really anything long. It's definitely a little more uh, raw, but you can definitely uh, definitely hear, uh, you know, like I said, the groundwork being laid for the eventual release. Uh, this is the second one, so yeah, I got out in August, I think. Uh, this one's called Plague. Got 17 of 20. These first two are out of 20. And like I said, the, uh, the subtitle of My Deathbed's out of 66. This one, uh, this one is the first, the first time you get a, a, a plus 20 plus minute track. Uh, again, pretty raw stuff. Uh, definitely not as accomplished as the self-titled, but uh, again, it's cool to kind of see him, you know, slowly get that ramping up. So again, this one is, uh, this one's Plague. And then finally, this is the one he released in October. This one, uh, oh, actually, no, I'm wrong. The first one is, uh, Sickness is, is 15 copies. And, or wait, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's, I don't know, 2020. Yeah, 15. So six to, six, Sickness is 15, and then Plague's 20 out of 20. And then also this final one, uh, Abandon, is also out of 20. Uh, this one, this one, I don't know, is a, I, I, this feels more rehearsal or something. Maybe it is. I didn't really look into it too much. Uh, definitely the, the production quality is, is worse. But again, we have another uh, 20 plus minute track, which is awesome to hear. Um, you know, like I said, definitely check out uh, that. Pull it out again. The uh, self-titled My Deathbed. If you were into DSBM stuff, if you're into that monotonous black metal style, you know, the same riff over and over, uh, that really kind of, you know, puts you in a trance, that kind of thing, uh, definitely check out this one. And then if you're, uh, feeling generous, you know, buy one of the 66 copies and then maybe check out those other releases too. Um, I think, I think all in all, I got all four of them for like, uh, I don't know, 25, 25 bucks maybe or something, including shipping from Greece. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember sure how much I paid it, but it, it wasn't much per one. It was like less than three bucks euro per one, so it wasn't like I was playing arm and a leg. Uh, yeah, one man project again. Like I said, out of, out of Greece. I don't know if I said that till just now. Uh, I think the guy goes by Void, but uh, yeah, definitely awesome stuff. Really like this release a lot. I've listened to it at least ten times already. Uh, in the first track, even more than that. Uh, Awesome stuff, definitely check it out. And uh, the, actually, this is uh, the track, the first track that I love on this album is also called My Deathbed. So obviously it's amazing. As you know, I love the trifecta of album, uh, title, band, and song title, all of them having the same title, in this case, My Deathbed. So I'm, not, I'm done rambling about this artist. Definitely check it out, My Deathbed. Love title, My Deathbed. Check out the link. All right. Uh, all right, let's move on to now tapes. Uh, I did a out of season order. Uh, this was something that I was hoping that they would uh, repress, and then they did. So it was like, obviously, I needed to get it, and that is the uh, the Fief uh, One Plus Two collection. Uh, maybe a few weeks ago, I picked up the Fief Three, which is awesome. Uh, Fief out of all out of Utah. That's funny uh, because Utah is the uh, place to be right now, making music. Uh, one of the tops of the dungeon synth, you know, obviously I would still say that Sequestered Keep is uh, the top of the game, but I think Thief is uh, 1A, maybe. Uh, so yeah, the Thief 3, awesome. Uh, this one had sold out previously, I think it was on a clear tape, this one's kind of like a milky gray or something. So one's on that side, two on this side. Cool, awesome uh, dungeon synth, some of the best. Uh, definitely gives me, give me that strong uh, medieval feel. Which I don't know, I don't know what's up with it. I, I, that's one of the genres I've been listening to the most uh, this year. Even is dungeon synth and dark ambient and stuff, which is, is totally random and weird. Never would have thought that, but I'm loving it, so I'm gonna keep on rolling with it. So yeah, super happy to have gotten the Thief One and Two collection tape. Awesome stuff. Also came with. Uh, 
know why I stuck on my tongue right then. <laughs> okay, uh, and then I just you know, picked up another one just for kicks. Uh, been eyeing this artist uh, a couple times, just never pulled the trigger. Finally decided to do that. And that is, uh, this is Fog Lord, and this is their release, Celestial. Out on, uh, obviously, out on, out of season. Also comes on this. Uh, what, what color? You, I'm not gonna say the color. You tell me what color this is. Uh, do you think that it's blue or do you think it's purple? Leave your comment below. Let me let me know. Um, awesome stuff. Also, Dungeon Synth. Uh, I think it also kind of like uh, like the old tower kind of has a some of the. Uh, dark ambient bleed over into it, uh, although much more strongly on this on this release. In fact, uh, but one thing that I think is cool about it is that, it, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, I, I would rather say it's more like a bleed over of light ambient. It's much more like positive sounding. Uh, Celestial is a great name of this album. It kind of you know makes you think of like stars in the night, or uh, also kind of like icy theme to it, maybe a little bit too. Uh, out of 100, I guess, 95, number 95 out of 100. Nothing on the inside of the J card. Tracks. What's the guy's name? Darian Dobbs. Yeah, Darian Dabs, maybe. Yeah, I really like this a lot. This is this is cool because it has a, you know, like I said, it has a different different feel than a lot of uh, of Dungeon Synth and uh, I don't know, Dark Ambient stuff. We'll say. So definitely check this out if you want to see something new. They have a, oops. They have uh, another release. I can't think of what it's called, but I'll definitely have to pick that one up. Sounds rad. So yeah, Fog Lord, uh, Celestial. I think this guy's out of the US too, but I'm not really sure where he's from. Also playing with the button. Fog Lord. I picked up a couple more tapes that uh, go to Warwick's uh, release. Just because I'm so obsessed with tapes, I'm just like randomly buying tapes because I'm out of control. Uh, so I decided to pick up this one. I think this is I think this is out through Go to Warwick's, but I'm not really sure. That's what it seems to imply on the on their website, but it doesn't say anything about that, so might not be right on that. Regardless, uh, this is Tyrannic is the name of this artist. Uh, Mummified in Jugon is, is the name of the, the title of the album. This is a uh, black metal band out of uh, Australia. Uh, there's maybe a maybe a bit of doom in the sound, uh, maybe, uh, but definitely uh, kind of the production gives it very a very kind of raw quality, which I actually I think the production being kind of poor works in its favor. Kind of comes on this cool. I'm not even really sure what you call it. Uh, it looks like stacks of cubert blocks, if you if you understand what I mean by that. Uh, but you know, kind of, yeah. There you go. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. Kind of has a cool little design on it. So that's kind of cool looking. Side A, side B. Uh, out of Australia, if I didn't say that. Uh, side A has two tracks. They're live. And then the uh, side B has also has two tracks, and they're like rehearsals. Uh, but yeah, cool stuff. Uh, not anything super special or anything like that, but uh, you know, just kind of a, a cool little uh, slice of life black metal, we'll say. I don't know. Uh, just on a, a Xeroxed J card. Not even like, like the song titles are cut off here. By the way, does everyone else love this song like me? I love this song. Got the uh, Go To Work stamp on the back there, which I've never actually seen before. Not that I had tons of Go To Work releases, but not even noticed it mentioned in a video or anything like that, so I don't know. I think this is uh, limited to 50, I wanna say. Maybe, maybe that's right or wrong. It's still available if you're interested. I think if you order just this and the tape, it's still like 10 bucks, so it's not even, uh, or maybe 11 bucks. Uh, so even if you want to order just this, uh, the, the shipping from China is actually not that bad. So yeah, Tyrannic, Mummified, and Jugam. I did actually pick up another tape at the same time because uh, it was a really cool packaging and it sounded cool, so I thought, what the hell, why not? Uh, this is uh, 
it's uh, the actual band itself. I would say it, they're all it's all Chinese characters, but uh, it's Romanized or whatever you want to say. Uh, name is uh, Enmity. I've also seen this band called uh, Enemit. I think that's I think I guess wrong. I'm not really. Sure. I've, I've seen. Ten minutes ago, I thought maybe I was gonna be able to uh, get this done in all one take, but that's wrong. Oh. Uh, I need this. All right. So as I was saying. Uh, Enmity, I'm not sure, that's probably kind of a bad butchering of pronunciation. Also seen it as Enemit, think that's wrong, not sure, but again, Chinese characters, so that's really how you say it. I think, uh, I think this is one guy, and I think he might be involved in the band Aqui, not totally sure on that. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, uh, did find out later that actually this came out on, a uh, on CD, but I broke my own rule. But, uh, kind of the name confusion didn't let me know that there was a CD version when I was looking to buy this. So, not my fault. Regardless, who cares? The packaging is awesome. So, so yeah, obviously it comes in this, uh, cool, like, little med mesh red bag with the little, uh, print on there. Comes on this, uh, white tape. Name of the album. Also, like, in Chinese characters, but, uh, Wu Yan. It says here on the B side. And on the A side, it has kind of like a forest looking pattern on it, which is kind of cool. This is uh, also, uh, this is Dark Ambient. Uh, it has a little bit of vocals, kind of like a, like, like kind of like uh, gurgle, not gurgly, uh, like, I don't know, just like evil, scratchy, like grumblings. Uh, it really like fits, this has a really like evil feel to it, uh, definitely cool. Um, there's three versions, mine is the bell version, but don't get tricked, uh, that just means that I have the bass version because they all come with bells. There's also a river version and a bell, uh, mirror version, river version and mirror version, yeah. They come with, you know, other stuff like little mirrors and etc, etc. So like I said, it comes with three. Um, this was released, uh, WV Sorcerer Productions, so shout out to them for, uh, this cool packaging. Couple stickers. Uh, probably outside of obviously the tape, which is rad. Uh, the highlight is, uh, this liner notes that comes on, uh, what did I read this was called? Uh... I can't remember what it's called, but it's kind of like a, a rice a rice paper kind of thing going on. Uh, track listings here. Some credits. It obviously has the, the Chinese characters and then the Romanized words as well. Inside. Sure, probably like this. And on the back here. Oh, I have that upside down, don't I? <laughs> yeah, it looks better. But yeah, this is Brad. Uh, just awesome, uh, really just like super at atmospheric, like you feel like you're in like a evil cellar, like a waiting doom, I don't know, it just sounds terrifying. Uh, I, I do think this is actually a sold out on uh, Go to War, because I think I saw it now. Uh, but I'll definitely leave the, I'll leave the link to the band camp, uh, you can listen to it if nothing else. Uh, maybe it's available somewhere, I'm not sure. This actually, I think this was originally a 2005 release, if I remember right. And then the, these rad packagings were done in 2017, so just last year. But, uh, rad stuff. Enmity, Wu Yan, awesome stuff. Really into it. Plus, uh, this cool bag. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, one thing left. This actually was, uh, something I meant to show last week, but I forgot because it's, uh, small and, uh, evaded my eyes. 
Uh, this is the uh, the most recent release uh, from. Turn that one down just a hair. This is uh, the really, like I said, latest release from Anal Trump. Uh, the guys uh, Travis Ryan of Cattle Decapitation and Rob Crow of Pinback, amongst other bands. Uh, this was released out in like November, December, but the physical just came out this year. Uh, it's on a five inch snow. I don't know why that one was only like five minutes, so I'm not sure what's up with that one. Anyway, Anna Trump, I didn't say the title. Make America, make America say Merry Christmas again. Uh, like all the releases previously, uh, they go all the proceeds go to a charity. In this case, uh, all the proceeds go to uh, the Union of Concerned Scientists. So that's rad. Uh, limited to 500. Uh, they did a cool thing where uh, I think there's actually some left. So actually, go over there and buy this on Bandcamp and uh, send your money over to the Union of Concerned Scientists and get a record. Uh, they did a cool thing where the top, uh, I think, 50 donations, because you know, you, on Bandcamp you can pay whatever you want. Uh, whoever the top 50 donations, uh, their uh, their record would it'd still be on this white, but uh, it'd be cut in the actual shape of a snowflake, which is hilarious. Uh, anyway, like I, uh, like I was going to say, right as uh, I was being cut off just a few, one minute ago. Uh, Grandcore, I think the total length of this release is like one minute, <laughs> as why it's on a five inch. But uh, I don't know. Anal Trump, make America. Say Merry Christmas again. All right, uh, that's all I got for this week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you're familiar with any of these releases, let me know what you think of them. Again, is this blue or is this purple? Comment below. And uh, yeah, look at my rad Paul Nashy shirt. They got from Evil Speak Records. I'll leave a link to them too. Uh, have a good day.